Hello all, another requested video and you can get your very own requested video if you're willing to shell out a couple shells. Uh, if you want more information, go to assholeconsulting.com and that's me, I'm the asshole. Uh, but people keep paying, so I guess I do. maybe people need an asshole instead of someone to kiss your ass. So, uh, we got an anonymous, he wanted to be anonymous, he, he gave me his but he wants to be anonymous and he says, he writes, currently adjusting or studying a diploma of building and construction, which will lead to a bachelor's of construction management. <clears throat> okay, should I commit to a construction management degree or blow it off and start a diploma of electrical engineering and work my way to a bachelor's of electrical engineering? Okay, <clears throat> here's the great situation about your situation, or a great thing about your situation. It's really hard to botch both, but speaking from economics, speaking of what the labor market is telling you with starting salaries and everything, the electrical engineer is gonna make a lot more than the guy with a bachelor's of construction management. Um, this is to say you can't have a good career in construction management. I mean, you're, that, that's good. You're getting a uh, building in construction, so you're going to get hands-on work. You're going to have a trade. Uh, and then, you know, there's always construction going on, uh, although, although let me provide a caveat there, unless you have a housing crisis, which is what that industry is susceptible to, like we had back in 2006 through 2010, essentially. Um, but, you know, you ain't majoring in English or privilege studies or whatever just that we just I just want to major in feeling my goodness um so yeah it's not it's not a bad major not not bad at all but you're gonna make a lot more over the long run getting your degree in electrical engineering and then also a, a construction I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of like Gantt charts and um, inventory management all good things but at least in the short run electrical engineering or becoming an electrician that's a very precise skill in trade that not only will you probably likely find work, you could also run your own business on the side to pick up some extra scratch on the side there. Uh, but then down the road, yeah, that would definitely lead you to a bachelor's in electrical engineering. And what's great about understanding electrical uh, or being an electrician is you will intuitively, hands-on, understand how electronically, uh, electronics works uh, as opposed to any newbie freshman coming in who only theoretically understands how electricity works. Like I learned this I took a year of uh, computer networking school and I understood conceptually reading through the books and looking at the diagrams that use these online simulators. It wasn't until you actually got the freaking cables in your hands, you start setting up routers, uh, setting up LANs and stuff like that, does it make sense? Uh, so I would, it, 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 I don't want to say, if, if your heart and your passion is in building and construction, you like sheetrocking, you like... Uh, cutting wood and do whatever you like being outdoors getting a lot of physical energy uh, exercise yeah you know that that's fine but if you're indifferent between the two and money is really the factor yeah definitely go with electrical engineering so hopefully that helps toodles